we've made it to our Miami hotel and let me tell you it's not what we were expecting so our plan for today was to get here eat something and then spend like the evening afternoon like four to six ish by the pool we were told when we checked in that the pool closes at four why i don't know so we won't be doing that uh so we just freshened up after our flight i'll give you a little room tour but it's going to be the shortest room tour in the history of room tours because it's small they have like literal high school lockers over here not really in a cool way the room is this corner kevin's on the bed at least it's a king bed that's nice and then the bathroom it is like the most bare bones place not what i thought was advertised on the website but it was pretty cheap so it is what it is now we're gonna go to sweet green because i miss living somewhere where there's sweet green fall 2024 coming to columbus it's going to be the best time of my life so we're gonna go to sweet green maybe find a little snack and then i'm planning to come here and since we can't hang out by the pool maybe i'll just do some editing kevin will probably do some work might take a nap and then we'll have to figure out a dinner plan even just walking from our hotel to eat to getting cookies and back Miami just feels like a different country from where we live like it is very well I think it helps that like there are lots of people from lots of places here and so like you still have people speaking a lot of different languages like we've heard Spanish we've heard Italian there was a girl very clearly from LA which is not a different language but it is in some senses but everybody's just like happy the sun's out so we feel happy it's just it is better than Ohio. That's... Also, we're like familiar with it now because this is like our third time yeah. being here in a year. Yeah. So. Yeah, who would have thought Miami was going to be our most frequent destination? Okay, do you want to try confetti or cookies and cream first? Um, follow your heart. Okay. They look good. Whoa. Yeah. I just broke it open. That looks delicious. Yum, yum. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Here you got Coke. Thanks. Oh, you didn't cheers. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> it's got white chocolate chips in here. Yeah. Mmm. That's really good. It's really good. Mm. This one's confetti. That's a glorified sugar cookie. Yeah. It's good. But it's a sugar cookie. It is cookie. just a sugar cookie. I'm kind of disappointed because when I was looking online at their flavors, they were advertising a cinnamon roll one. Go in no cinnamon roll flavor the guy then tells us that it is a tomorrow friday only special and i was like he was very excited about it though he was like in tomorrow we have this super special two day only weekend only thing it's a cinnamon roll and i, I could like, just see her heart be like oh, i no. know <laughs> that's why i'm here <laughs> just a day early but Cookies are good. I think I'm gonna take a shower, maybe take a little nap, do some work, and then we'll check back in for dinner. Okay, please excuse the fact that we have to film in the bathroom. The lighting in this hotel room is horrible, but we are getting ready to go to dinner. I decided we love to go to tapas restaurants, like Spanish tapas restaurants, and there are like no good ones in Columbus and when we lived in Atlanta there were like five that we went to regularly we love tapas and so we were like wow we're here we should see if we can find a tapas restaurant and there's actually one of the same restaurants that we used to go in Atlanta here so we're gonna go check it out I'm very excited so I've got uh this little off the shoulder flowy sleeve shirt i got it at target recently i thought it was so cute for this and i feel like it'll be really cute to wear like in the springtime as well it's giving very springy vibes and then i decided just on some jeans with these like cork 
shoes that have little daisies on them a little flowery moment so we're gonna go to dinner we're just trying to have a low-key night before we go on the cruise tomorrow all right we are ready to check out of this stupid room um, I think our cruise check-in time is until 4.45. So we're gonna go to the cruise terminal, try and drop off our bags, and then maybe Uber to like a cafe or something to like eat, get some work done, pass the time for the afternoon, and then we can head back to the terminal when it's our turn to check in. Okay, we have made it onto the ship. We've checked in. We watched our safety video. Let me give you a little cabin tour. It's kind of close quarters, but it's enough room for the two of us. We don't feel too squished. So when you come in the front door here, you've got this little like closet situation over here. My suitcase made it. We're not sure where Kevin's is. Hopefully it's coming. And then on this side, when you walk in, this is where the bathroom is. So uh, again, mirror, sink, toilet, shower, not the most space, but uh, it is not bad for just two people staying in a room, especially when you like that person. So then you come out here and this is the main part of the cabin. So you've got, uh, there's a mini fridge in here. This is the little desk area I generally generally use this to like get ready and stuff this is where i do my makeup and such and then over here that's kevin you know him we've got a full length mirror which is ideal um this is a little side table area there's a drawer down there that can be used for more things we've got a queen size bed i believe and then tv on this wall little side table and then out here is our balcony whoa a pirate ship there's a pirate ship and that's Miami it's pretty cloudy today but that's okay and then out here we've got a little hammock hanging out little table chairs little deck moment again not super big but big enough to enjoy the outside while we're traveling so we have to we watched our safety video and we have to go check in at our emergency station scan we've got these little like bands uh they are our key card our id our credit card to buy things it's just like the all encompassing card so we have to scan this say we watched our safety video have seen our emergency station then i want to unpack the suitcase because as you've seen there's not a ton of room in here to just like have a suitcase laying on the floor so i like to unpack put it all in the closet so it's all out of the way and then we will figure out what we want to do for dinner Nine. As we prepare to set sail and meet your happening fast, sailors, let's dance the night away!
for dinner, I've got on my same shirt from earlier, this green dress that I got from Aritzia, little black Healy shoes, feeling cute, a little casual. We're going to the Razzle Dazzle tonight. It's like a new American kind of place, like American food with a twist kind of thing but we will see. I have looked at the menu and it's definitely different than the last time we were here, so we will see what we get. They were this like little old couple probably in their 70s um, They w lived in South Georgia So we talked about our time living in Georgia and they were both teachers one a kindergarten teacher One a high school teacher now retired. So we talked to them about that It was so sweet and I just feel like this cruise has more of a feeling of like People are more outgoing, people want to talk, people want to mingle, and I don't like that. I feel like on our last cruise, we didn't like interact with that many people, but I'm looking for friends this time, so we'll see how that goes, but we started out, we didn't even get their names. All I yeah. know is they live on floor eight. <laughs> now we're going to see a magician. I love to be spooked. Magicians aren't spooky. They're pretty spooky, they just like do weird stuff. That's not spooky. <laughs> it's spooky. <laughs> Thank you. This is the king of spades. Giant round of applause to start the show. It's not. It's closer than that. King of clubs. Look at that. Yeah. What, what I'll point out here is I don't know what that is. We got a flower and mom. That's kind of what I got too. A little bit there. Bob, what's that? The magician made me feel sad because I don't understand. He was really good. It was cool. He kept making people do stuff and then he'd take it out of the envelope and it was exactly what they said. It was spooky. I don't understand how that happens, but now we're in our pajamas and we're going to the pajama party to dance. Good morning, welcome to our first day on the high seas. So I looked at the map and we are like right off the coast of Cuba right now, heading down south toward the Dominican Republic. It is a sailing day, we're spending the whole day just on the boat hanging out. So first we're going back to the restaurant that we went to for dinner last night for brunch. I think they've got like a French toast situation and that is my favorite breakfast. So hopefully that is good. And then we're planning just to kind of spend the day by the pool on the sun deck, hanging out and then We'll see what else we get into, but I'm wearing this cute little top that I got from Urban Outfitters with the bell sleeves. I've got a bikini on underneath, my jean shorts, my fun little chunky white shoes. So feeling cute and ready for brunch. We're starting with going to a show tonight. Um, it's called Dual Reality, D-U-E-L. 
Um, it's like Romeo and Juliet circus vibes. We saw it last year, so I'm excited to see it again. It honestly was my favorite show. And then I think we're gonna try and eat at the Mexican restaurant tonight. There's another little dance party, so I'll show you my outfit. So I'm wearing this little flowy shirt. I got it at Zara in Paris. And then just a white Aritzia tube top with this little like skirt, little black shoes, black bag, black claw clip. So just a little casual cute outfit and uh, sleeves so I don't freeze in the show. We are on the red team. It's red versus blue. Hope we win. We weren't allowed to film in there, but it honestly was so cool that we, they did the like seesaw jumping and the flipping, a little trapeze moment, some aerials, some hula hooping, the yo-yo guy. That was your favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was cool. Mine was the trapeze, or the, I keep wanting to seesaws. call it a trampoline. Yeah, it's not a trampoline, the seesaws. It was so cool. And now we're going to eat. Dinner was quite the debacle. So last time we were on the cruise, it was not that busy. I think we were at like half capacity or something like that around there. And so it was very easy to just like walk in, even if you didn't have a reservation and get to eat wherever you want, be seated immediately, that kind of thing. But this cruise is a lot more full there. You can just tell there's a lot more people everywhere. And by the time we got on the boat, like we were one of the last groups to like get on the boat. And I just forgot because we had the experience we did last time that I needed to like pre-book dining things that like almost all of the reservations were taken up by the time that I like went to think about it. And so tonight we didn't have a dinner reservation, but we were just like, okay, we'll just like, maybe we want to go to the Mexican restaurant tonight. So we'll just like walk in and get a table. Even if we have to wait like an hour, like that's fine. We're not rushing to get anywhere. And so we went right after the dual reality show, went to the restaurant. He was like, okay, I'll take your number. This was like eight o'clock and he was like, it'll probably be around 8.45 or so. So we're like, okay, cool. We went, we sat, listened to some live music that was playing. I edited some photos, that kind of thing. We go back, we're waiting. It's like 9.15 at this point. So we're like, we'll just like check and see how many tables are in front of us. And we go up to the front and he's like, I haven't sat any of the walk-ins yet. And we're like, we know that you're supposed to have set aside a couple tables for walk-ins. How have you not sat anybody? Why didn't you tell us? Like, why did you give us a time that we were going to be sat? And then mm, that's very not true. I don't know what the situation was. So we just ended up going to a different restaurant. We went to the Italian restaurant. It was delicious. They gave us free limoncello shots. We loved that. And so we just came back to the room. Freshened up a little bit, did a little bit of prepping for tomorrow, and now we are going to another little dance party thing. We'll see if that's the vibe. If not, we're trying to find a hot tub to go hang out in, but stay tuned on how the rest of the nights go. We have dinner reservations tomorrow, but then not the last two nights of the cruise, so now I'm a little bit worried about it. I did not need more things to be anxious about, but it is what it is. Let's go dance. <laughs> It was quite a night, not the night that I expected to have. So we went to the dance party, it was fine. Came back around like 12.30 probably and went to bed. Kevin wakes up at like 3.30ish, vomiting. And it wakes me up 
and I realized, oh, I am also very nauseous. And we were probably like taking turns throwing up back and forth for like an hour. It was awful. I feel very unsettled today. I definitely think it's like food poisoning-esque, but it was, the Italian food was not fun coming back up. My throat is so sore today. My stomach is like really unsettled. We had like a muffin and some fruit for breakfast because I just, I'm not feeling up to eating quite yet, but I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm hoping we are uh, ported in the Dominican Republic today in Puerto Plata. We are taking a bus to go to this like private all-inclusive beach with drinks and a DJ and snorkeling, kayaking, paddle boarding, chairs, umbrellas, that kind of thing. I think it's like four-ish hours at the beach. But uh, hopefully we can just relax, lounge, not feel bad. I don't know if I'm gonna be drinking much today because of the way I feel, but survive in advance. Look how beautiful it looks where we're ported. It's like so muggy out that my camera is starting to fog up, but it's so beautiful. It's warm. It's kind of cloudy, but it looks like the clouds are starting to leave. So hopefully we can have a nice little beach day. I did get a little bit burnt yesterday, but I'm wearing this cute little orange swimsuit with the flowers on it. Got it at H&M. This green like linen shirt, white linen pants. So a little beachy day outfit and we're gonna go have a beach day in the Dominican Republic. for dinner it is scarlet night on the virgin voyages ships they do a one night where everybody wears red and you go have a dance party by the pool kind of thing i don't really know why but it happens so we're wearing red um the beach was so fun today it was such a cool experience to like go to this remote like area we had to take like it was advertised to be like 30 minutes, but I definitely felt like it was more like 45 to an hour. Maybe I'm extreme. Do you think that's true? It was more than 30, but it was not an hour. Okay. It was like 45. That's what I thought. I would have said that it was about 45 minutes, but so definitely a little bit on the highway and then lots of like bumpy back road, dirt road, but it felt like we were driving through like in the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie when they're on that like island and the indigenous people are like chasing them. That is what it felt like. Just like the fields of lush greenery and palm trees and it was really beautiful and then the beach was super pretty it was just and we got to try dominican food and hang out with locals and we had the option to like paddleboard and kayak and snorkel but there were fish nets up like there were not fish in that water there's no point in snorkeling so we just like swam relaxed took some pictures all of that i am feeling a bit better 
as far as the nausea goes once i ate lunch today i feel like that helps me a lot but now i can really like feel the boat rocking and it's starting to make me feel nauseous again so we are going to the test kitchen tonight which i'm very nervous about honestly uh it's the type of restaurant where like it, it's a fixed menu it's the idea is that they have like lots of weird twists on the food that they serve and it's not like it's like you have a mushroom course an egg course a scallop course a meat course blue cheese course and a chocolate course and if you know me I like like two of those things but we didn't do it the last time we were on the boat and Kevin wanted to try it so we're sacrificing however when we got back on the boat we did eat snacks we got like a little pizza to share some french fries a diet coke so like i'm not the hungriest so i think that could be the best scenario for this whole situation but we will see how it goes i'll give you an outfit check before we leave though so i am wearing my red for love and lemons dress that i showed you guys in my prac and prep video a cute little bow dress and then i've got this red bow in my hair to match so feeling nice and cute just black sandals taking my black bag and we will check back in after dinner Okay, that wasn't the greatest thing to do when I was feeling mildly nauseous. I do not feel good now. That was, uh... The only thing I really enjoyed was the meat course. Yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. And I wanted to go. <laughs> and it... I'm usually more adventurous and more, like, into weird things. But, like, this wasn't just, like, weird. It just, like, wasn't good. No, so it started off, the mushroom course was like a mushroom mousse on crostini but bread like pieces. room temperature too? Yeah, so that was like weird. The flavor was fine, but meh. And then it was like a gelled egg with peas. Not about that. And then this like scallop soup. Which was fine. I was fine I did not the like the scallops. Soup. It was very fishy. Um, and then we had the meat, which was really good. It was really good cut of meat. Mm -hmm. It had this like au jus sauce on it almost. With chocolate too. Yeah, chocolate, a port wine kind of vibe, and then these like candied berries. So that was really good. The blue cheese. Oh man. Not good. It was like a blue cheese mousse almost. And it was not like a pungent mousse. It made it worse. It like they put vanilla in it it had this like champagne drizzle different things like that but like i tasted it and immediately i was like this is a flavor that i know what does this taste like and then i'm like it tastes like the dust that is on cheese puffs like not like cheetos but like cheese puffs and i said that to kevin he was like Bleh. no it was it was fine i was doing fine with it but as soon as she said that i couldn't like untaste it <laughs> and so it was now just like Cheeto dust paste in my mouth. Yeah, he literally came back and brushed his teeth. He was like, I can't have that flavor in my mouth. And then the chocolate was like fine. The it was kind of overpowering, yeah. but it was what it was. But I, we are moving a lot. I feel like we are just like constantly rocking back and forth and I just feel so nauseous. So we might go check out the Scarlet party. And then honestly, I might just want to come back and like lay down because I just do not feel good and I do not want to feel this way for the next two days. You uh, may have guessed. A lot more waves than it was the other day. Let's talk about it. It's that the food is so good. <laughs> 